case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark case in 1971, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company in a dispute with the union, Local One, Allied Chemical and Alkali Workers of America, over adjustments to the health insurance plan for retired employees. The central question in Allied Chemical and Alkali Workers of America, Local Union No. 1 Volt. Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company was the nature of the obligation for companies to negotiate over changes in retiree benefits with their unions. This disagreement was rooted in the National Labor Relations Board's directive to the company. The board had ordered Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company to cease making adjustments to the retiree health insurance plan without first engaging in good-faith negotiations with the union. The company disagreed and appealed the directive, leading to the case being taken up by the Supreme Court. The Court of Appeals, preamble to the Supreme Court verdict, contested the board's order, leading to a more pronounced dispute which presented a chance for the Supreme Court to make a lasting ruling. The Supreme Court, through Justice Brennan, handed down its decision, siding with Pittsburgh Glass Plate Company. In the Supreme Court ruling, it was clearly stated that retirees could not be categorized as employees under the National Labor Relations Act. This implied that they couldn't be involved in the union's bargaining unit. Furthermore, the ruling stated that it was legal to alter retiree benefits even without their consent. Overarching this debate was the company's history of negotiations with the union over the employee group health insurance plan and the varying contributions made by both parties. According to the ruling of the Supreme Court, as retirees are not considered employees and their benefits are not mandatory collective bargaining subjects, the Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company hadn't breached the National Labor Relations Act. This ruling also clarified the scope of Section 8, D, regarding changes to collective bargaining terms, noting that it did not apply to permissive terms. This case was a significant development in labor law, setting a precedent on negotiations between companies and unions over retiree benefits. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.